Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now today I'm going to come on here and I'm going to do a bit of work on this little piece, I think. Um, some, I tried to do this bit here the other day, but it just didn't work for me, so I'm just going to leave that for a while. Because if you go away, and then you can come back later maybe and see what you can do. Um, I'd like to do some roses here, I think. I'd like to do something with those roses. And then you've got this pot here, and I don't know about the pot. I might just put some stitches along there to start with, just to hold that down. I need a bit of something that's not too dark. This pink's nice. I like the pink one. But then you've got to be able to see it too. You want to, you want to have it to make a bit of an impression, don't you? <laughs> I do like this um, green. It's nice. I don't think I've used any of this on here yet. I like a bit of this green, eh? Green one. There's lots of green here. I do really like this. It's a really good size. It's very thin. Well, you know, it's, and it's, um, a what's the name, crochet thread. Really nice piece of thread, roll that I bought. Got it in, in one of the bundles of things that I've picked up. Looks like it might be a little tiny bit old. Here's the Simco one. 40 gram. I don't know how it tells you anything else about it, but anyway, it's really nice. So, I'm going to get, put something down along here to I'll do a cross stitch, I think. I might do the cross stitch on here because that looks good. I tried, I could put a knot in there. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's raining here. It's raining, I've got the window open, I did have the fan on, I've got Jeremy switch that off because it's a little bit chilly. It's raining. Actually, I could do those too. Those leaves there, they could be done as well. Okay, so we're just going to do this across here for a minute. Best that's supposed to go under there. Okay. And this one. Oh, it's supposed to be under there too. Sorry about this. I'll show you better in a minute. <laughs> I'll show you better how to do it. That went crooked. And I'm not going to leave it like that because I don't want to. <laughs> I've got a really long piece of thread here. We don't need all that. It's just balking me something frightful. Yeah, let me see. Here we go. I suppose I should add the timer on for this. Where is it? What did I do with the timer? I know, I turned around, the, it's sitting on the, what's that? <laughs> oh, that's not going to come up now. Oh, I just have to use the clock. It was sitting on me, lazy Susan thing spun around the other way. So, we can put this here. Whoops. Now, somebody asked me about these little flowers that are on here, these little sequins. I've searched and searched everywhere for them, you know, and I actually found some on Timu. So I bought a thousand. <laughs> I think it cost me under four dollars to get a thousand of them, so that's pretty cool. And they're all mold in all different colours, so that's good. So I hope you can um, go on there and find yourself some. I've always found, I've bought things from Timu and found that they've been okay. Um, some people have issues with them, but I haven't done it as yet, so I'm not going to say. So that you put your cotton over the top of the needle okay you go down through there and a lady asked me how this was oh, they're supposed to go over top of there again she asked me how this was put together well I've actually got a video on doing that so if you go and have a look at the other videos on this otherwise I can try and remember to put it up to show you how it was done so what you need to do is put your little cross thing and go like that make sure your cotton's underneath your needle okay and then it'll go like that and work for you and I'm going to sew down here behind this I'm going to go behind sort of behind the sequin if I can sneak in there put that there come over this way you to put the cotton behind in front of your needle here like that I'm saying behind in 
birds having a song after all that rain. Oh, well, when I say all of it, it was a bit out there for him to bath, I suppose. And he might have had a nice shower. There we go. We can sneak through here and do this because I love that little bunch of flowers. It's really nice, isn't it? That's got to go back across under there. Okay. And I'll sneak under this bit here. Put it under the... <laughs> I've made that a little bit longer, but only so it could fit underneath it. That looks nice, doesn't it? I do like that. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna got two wrong, Sonia. You just got two wrong. I need to undo that one because I know I tried to do him so he gets behind there, but he doesn't look good. We're gonna make sure that he looks good. You don't want him all wrong, wonky. Okay. So we'll come back a bit closer. Eh? Let's go underneath it. And you want your thread around him behind there. Sneak and be on. Well, see, if you did this before you put the sequence on, you wouldn't have that trouble. But I didn't think about that, did I? That's a bit better. Oh, I think it's a lot better, actually. <laughs> Righto, go under there. Go on. supposed to be under that way. That looks nice, doesn't it? Where are we? Here. There you go. Yeah. I'll sneak under that with the end of it, so you just think it's, you know, goes behind there, so it looks good. There we go, that looks good, I like that. I really do. I really do like that. I just have to write something on a piece of paper to remind Jeremy about something that's really important. When he comes in here next time. Oh no. Yeah. I won't have to worry about that all the time I'm doing this, will I? I won't have to think about it at all. Too like how that went. Now I'm gonna do these leaves, I think. Um I do like that colour that I just used, but it's a little bit this is a little bit different green. Let me see what have I got? Here's my box of cottons that I had here a minute ago. Probably sitting here looking at me. Oh, what's that? that? <laughs> Is it looking at me? No. Oh, it's under this box. Goodness. But anyway, I should probably look in here see if I can find the right coloured green. Because I really wanted to be as close to that as I can get it. That one there's nice, isn't it? It's shiny, so we don't know about the shiny, do we? We get scared of shiny. I don't think there's any in this one. That was the box I was looking for. Sitting under there. What have I got in here? Nothing. I've got a few greens, but I don't think I've got the right thing. Oh, I hope that wasn't the lights. <gasps> That wasn't the lights go. We don't want to see it in the dark. We'll be in the dark if the lights go out. 
don't think we had a bit of thunder and lightning earlier, but I don't think it was um, anything that turned the power off. That won't be good. Uh, this is one here. No, they're nowhere near the same, are they? This is a bit like a, not actually, you know, I like the, that one there a bit. I do like that one a bit. Just think I'm going to get a camera with a pause button. Be able to pause it while I look for these things and you won't have to sit there and wait. <laughs> okay. That's the same. I don't know why, but I think I wanted to get it as close as I can to that colour. Because I really like the colour. I want to get as close as I can. It's not easy to do that. Maybe that's, and it's not... You can still see that on there. If you couldn't see it on there, it'd be right. about that one? No. Oh. I don't mind that, actually. It might even be able to work. I don't think I've got any crochet thread in that colour. I might try that one. See what it looks like. I hope it does work. We don't want to be playing around with this all day. Got things to do. Well, I do have things to do, but <laughs> I did a few bits this morning. Our grim baby's coming to visit tomorrow. She's only five weeks old. But still don't care. I would like to have the house clean all the time anyway, but it, it usually is. But you know how sometimes you can get a bit bits and pieces that you don't think about sometimes. They need to be put away. Because we, we live here so we do we do enjoy our our stuff, so we do have a bit about a bit about. Uh, I've missed sewing too much sewing stuff in the lounge room, so I'm bringing some of that out so that people can come in there. <laughs> we'll move people in there, aren't we? I don't have too much sewing stuff. Jeremy has a his computer set up on the kitchen table, so on the dining room table, I mean, so he's got to fix, take that out um, so we can have lunch. And things like that, you know. Now, here we go. What am I going to do with these? I'm just going to sew them, aren't I, really? I should do, I'll do a fly stitch, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay. Well, there goes that knot. I always start off wrong, don't I, and then change my mind. Do it all the time. Did I leave that tail on there? Take that off. Okay, so I'll do a fly stitch on this. So you want to come in one side of that. Then go over there and come up in the middle where the line is for the vein of the leaf. And then you just go down the back. And then you want to come up the side again. Where am I? Right here I am. Big needle I got here, but it's, it's okay. It's going to work all right. Gee, I didn't get to the line very good, did I? How did I do that? Goodness me, Sonia. Okay, now now we're right. Now we're right. I think we're right now. I went down way too far away from the line. Follow the line. So go back in there, fair on that centre piece there. Okay, then you got the side, and then this side. Come back down into the middle. And put that down, go down over that. Right. This side. This way into the centre. Now you can do these as close together or as far apart as you like. I mean, I want to do them where, like where they are because I don't want to cover the leaf completely, but I want to, you know, I want to put some. And 
there back to the middle down there I do like the idea of following this, it's quite good fun, isn't it? <laughs> I'll go on where the leaf is. Give me stitches. Down there. Oops. Over this way to the centre. And then I'll just take that last stitch down to the end of the, of the leaf, like so. See there? It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I like it. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to duck up underneath here with this, with my thread, because that'll save me ending it off and starting off with a knot. And I'm going to do this other side. And. I guess I can go over top of that one a bit. There's got to be something there that that's connected to, the leaf. There's got to be a little something there that's connected to, so I'm going to have to look at that after. See if I want to put something there that's holding the leaf onto the branch. Well, that got quite, didn't it, the outside now. There's lots of, there was lots of goings on. There was thunder and rain and you know, little birds are twitting. Out there in the tree. <laughs> a bit of thunder out there rumbling now, I can hear it. a fair way away though because there's no lightning when they both come at the same time that's scary you know the lightning and the thunder come at the same time you know it's there with you that's not good <laughs> or when the thunder sneaks up on you and goes <laughs> that's not good either is it it sneaks up on you That's nice. I do like that. I've got so much stuff that I'm working on. I couldn't find anything to feel like doing today. Only this. That's what I feel like doing this today. So that was all right. So those leaves look like that's the beginning of them, but it's the tips, I think. Or well, they're just laying there. Doesn't that look good? I really like how that's working out for me. Didn't know if I could do this, but there is some places that I'm I'm a bit stumped with. You know, there is some places because some of them flowers are a bit a bit big, but I don't need to fill in the whole thing, do I? I just need to do a a little bit of them, you know. So I shouldn't get too worried about it. I don't know. You know me, but I can't help myself. I've got to panic about something. Nobody panics on you. Now, so this here is the part that I, maybe I should go to this bit, if that's balking me a lot, I should go to the next thing, shouldn't I? I should work on a, this bit over here, or whatever. <laughs> Put some beads on that. I've got to figure out how to do this, come on. How are you going to do these these roses, Sonia? There's got to be a way. Well, I can do them fancy. I can do them really fancy, I guess. Okay. Get some pink and start in the middle with the different pinks on you. Should have got a should have got a different pink first for the middle bit. A bright one, a bright one. Okay, let me see now. 
Ik zal de stad in de centre. Right -o. This is going to look good, I can just tell. I've got an idea. Actually, this would work, I think. But I'm only going to be able to use that part of this to start with. Right. A variegated one. Really nice, isn't it? Because I'm going to put this... I'll do this one here first. We need this piece of in the middle. All right. Need this really nice bright one in the middle. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> my neck. <laughs> Give me a zip. Give me a pain. It's up my shoulder. It's all about myself. Never mind. I'll be fine. It started the time of day though. My tablets started to wear off and I... I'm sick of taking the pain pills in the middle of the day. I hate it. <clears throat> now, this bit here can be... I reckon if we did a bullion stitch in there. Okay, what do you think about that? I could. I could do that. I could do a bullion stitch coming across here. That's what that looks like it could have. Okay, so we'll do that. So we just want wraps. That's plenty. Good, nice one. Okay, that's the middle bit. It's done. <laughs> now I'm going to end that off because that's that's enough. I want color, so we have color. Have some color. I don't want it to go through two pieces of fabric, just one. I'm using me this needle that I've got that I don't mind. I don't know if I'll do the white. I might just go with pink now. We'll see what happens, eh? Let's see what I can do with this. I'm going to start here. I might do some... Zum, zum, zum. <laughs> zum, zum, zum. <laughs> Back stitches right here. Okay, something to be used for the next bit. Okay, so we'll go around here. We're getting fancy now. We will be when I get around here, when I do what I'm going to do with it, I suppose. That's as far as I want to go with that. Maybe I could do this. I could go along here and fill this in with a buttonhole stitch by picking up the back stitches. Yeah, I hope I'm showing you can see what I'm doing. I really do. I hope this is not too hard to pick up. Then I'm going to go behind that and start back over here again. I don't think I started right at the beginning, did I? No, I didn't. How could I do it? Why did I do that? We don't know, do we, Sonia? Okay, a couple of those 
in that one. A couple of stitches in that one. Whoops. This one. I'm thinking now, do, am I like this? Am I? Am I? <laughs> like it? It's not bad. It's not bad. I'll go down in there. Come back over this way. Loop this one. This one. I don't know what this is going to look like, but it's just going to be a little bit of trial and error to see what, how we go here. I just want to see what happens. It's nearly, oops. It's nearly filled in that part. I see that shut down in there. Does that make it... Um, like a difference to it or not? Have we got, we got something? I have to stitch up there. I don't know. What do you think about that? Not too bad? No, it's not too bad. We're going to put something different on the outside now. Another stitch of some sort. I want to make it look a bit... Sort of dimensional, I guess it's not really, but it could be sort of. Okay, so I've got these petally bits now to do. So I suppose I could do them with straight stitches around there, couldn't I? It's a different pink one. So, no, no, it's going to be the same. Close to it, isn't it? You can hardly see that it's different, so it's not going to work. It's the same too. Oh dear. <laughs> Must have something here that I can use. I suppose this one will work. It's only thin, but we'll have a go. Let's have a try at this. See if this works. Yeah, I'll have a go at this one. It might work. Let's see what we're going to do with it. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that last bit of stuff I put up there. But I'm going to put this bit on and just see how it looks. Okay, because we can do that. We can check it out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to do a, um, a blanket stitch. And then it's sort of really fine, so it doesn't have to... The stitches are really fine, the cotton I should say. So I'm just going to go around the edge of it and take it right in to here. Just follow around the edge part of the plant. I hope I haven't gone over the time. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm good. Just go around here like this. This is variegated, so it's going to be change in colour. That looks awesome. Well, I do like that. I was a bit concerned about the middle bit, but it's okay. It's it's okay for the time being. It's going to look all right. Everything. 
it's not easy to sew this sort of thing and I and you've got to be careful so if you're doing this sort of thing and you're not really into or been doing it for a while you probably should use a hoop because you've got to get used to um, working so you don't pucker your work up if you're holding it in your hand it seems to, it's it's easy for me it's probably easy for a lot of other people too but you know it just depends whether you're used to having it a piece of work in your hand like this because it could just get all squished up and you know pucker if you're not used to sewing without a thing a hoop so that looks good I like that and then I want to do this bit up the top here it's probably Not the right colour that it's coming to it now, but it doesn't matter. It's to the as long as you've got some different colours on the flower, I think it works. Works all right, and the and the um, we've got texture, haven't we? We've got really good texture on it. <laughs> well, I've, I've impressed myself there. I like that. <laughs> I'm impressed how that worked out. There we go. So what do you think about that? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? And even that, it's not closed there, so I'm not going to close that. But it looks really good with the different textures uh, and different colours on it. And I'm really pleased how that turned out. Thank you everybody for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up. Have a good day. Um, come back and visit me. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a message if you want to write down something. But those those things there, those little um, these little flowers are on Timu, and I will show you with them when they get here. Anyway, they're supposed to be here next week, so that's good. And I put this together. There's a video of me putting this together. But today we did the little leaf. We did that little stitch, and we did that rose and I might do the other ones the same could eliminate that bit I don't know but I think it looks good it gives it it gives it personality doesn't it okay thank you for watching I'll talk to you later bye bye